to Garden Air. My name is Natalie and today I want to discuss terminal spikes on our Phalaenopsis orchids. I'm going to talk about what they are, what they mean for your orchid, and how you can avoid, avoid buying an orchid with a terminal spike and why you would want to. First of all, what we see here is an absolutely beautiful orchid in bloom. The plant looks absolutely green and healthy and luscious. And why would you not want to purchase this orchid? Well, that answer is simple. It has a terminal spike. Terminal meaning exactly what it sounds, an end of something, the, the, the finishing up of something and that something is this particular plant. So we're going to discuss what a terminal spike actually is and why it spells doom for your orchid. So let's begin by looking at an orchid that has spiked off the way it should. So we know with a phalaenopsis that it is a monopodial orchid, meaning it has a central stalk and all the life of the orchid, the growth of the orchid comes from this central area and it just grows upwards um, with new leaf development as it goes. And between these leaf developments is where we tend to get a healthy flower spike. Now on an orchid that has sent off a terminal spike, as you can see, hopefully you can see, here's the central stalk of the orchid and we don't see the flower spike coming from the cuticles of the leaves. Instead, what we see is the flower, the flower spike coming out of the center part of the the orchid. So on this orchid, if we were to have a terminal spike, that spike would be coming from right here versus on the side where it should be. So that's what we're looking at and the difference between these two orchids. So the problem is, is when the flower spike develops in such a way that it's going through the center of the orchid, it's kind of like being stabbed right in the heart. It's stabbing right up through this the growth area of the plant basically it's life's center and the spike ends up damaging that life center so in the future what will happen is it won't be able to further grow no more leaves will be able to grow and the orchid will eventually die um this can be a process. You're not going to see your orchid die like within a month or two. It usually can take a couple of years. So you might still be able to enjoy the orchid for a little while, but you'll need to realize that this orchid is on its last leg, literally. So the spike the, on this particular orchid, it has spiked and bloomed incredibly well. Actually, I had a normal spike down here where it should be. And that bloomed and finished and I'm ready to cut this stock, this spike back since it is turning brown. But this one decided to go up through the center of the plant. This can happen for different reasons and some of those reasons are simply theory. So let's discuss those. So going back to this orchid where we can just see things better, it's a better visual. Um, we can tell again where the spike is supposed to come from. Now, some theories on why a terminal spike could happen is uh, not enough light. Sometimes they say inadequate light sends the spike off into the center of the plant because basically when a orchid spikes, it spikes in the direction of sunlight. So whatever side your orchid is facing the most sun, that's where the spike is going to want to emerge and head towards that sunlight. And they say that not enough sunlight can cause the spike to just kind of veer off course and go up through the center of the stalk. However, the problem with that theory is if you have several orchids in your collection and they're all getting the same amount of sunlight from the same direction and only one orchid sends off a terminal spike, that seems to throw off that theory. Another theory is not enough 
fertilizer throwing off the spikes. But again, why would the rest of your collection not follow suit if it was something, if it was something wrong in the environment or something wrong that you were doing and you were maintaining it with all of your orchids, why would only one orchid send a terminal spike and not all of them? So unless all of your orchids under the same care and maintenance are throwing off terminal spikes, some of those theories just don't seem to measure up. Another thing, the thing that seems to make most sense to me is that the spike itself just wasn't strong enough to penetrate the walls of the center of the stalk. So as it's trying to push through, it might not have been able to push through, or maybe you changed the direction of the orchid causing the spike to go off into a different direction. Something about it caused the spike to go off into a different direction. So instead of emerging this way, the spike decides to kind of like take off, veer off to the center and come out of the center part of the stalk. And sometimes it just happens. And this is called an anomaly of the orchid. So since the terminal spike is terminal, you're going to want to avoid purchasing anything that you find in the store that might have a terminal spike. So when you purchase an orchid and you're looking them over, make sure you take note of where the spikes are coming from. Are they coming from the side where they should be? Or are they coming out of the center of the orchid plant? So that is one thing you definitely want to avoid, no matter how beautiful the orchid is, no matter if it's a color that you don't have and you're just like, ooh, 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 I really need that orchid, avoid it if it has that central terminal spike. Um, unless, of course, you want to buy it and try to develop cakeys. Now, cakey can be grown off of any spike, but it does tend to happen more often on terminal spikes. It's the orchid's kind of last chance to continue life. So up its spike, this one's blooming like crazy and even has another branch here starting off. So it really hasn't had any problems with wanting to, to bloom on this terminal spike. Um, however, she doesn't show any signs of developing a cakey yet. I have a couple of leaves that I'm hoping might develop a cakey, but so far, nothing that shows me that she is going to develop a cakey. A cakey is basically just a baby orchid that develops on the node of the orchid spike. So see this little node here, that could potentially be a cakey if this orchid decides to develop one. So what will happen is a couple of, a small tiny leaf will develop and then another leaf and eventually it'll develop its own roots and you'll have an identical copy of the mother plant developing on the stem. And it's the orchid's way of saying, okay, I'm about to die, I better make a cakey. And that's what it does. Now, you're not guaranteed a cakey on a terminal spike, um, but you can hope for one, and you can use cakey paste to try to encourage one, but there's never a guarantee that you will actually get a cakey. So, so as you can tell, having terminal spikes is a little bit of a disappointment, but if you've never grown a cakey before, had an orchid develop a cakey, it can be rather exciting to have the opportunity to maybe get one, especially if you have a lot of orchids and it won't hurt you too much to, to lose one and the chance of maybe getting a cakey to develop and being able to kind of experiment with one. So I'm hoping for a cakey. Um, I have a lot, of, a lot of nodes on these spikes yet where one could potentially develop. So I'm going to hold out and hope that she puts one off for me and we'll just go from there. And that way I won't totally lose the orchid. I'll have one just like it should a cakey develop. So I hope this helped to answer any questions that you have about what a terminal spike is and what it means for your orchid. And no, they're not really a part of the natural life cycle. Sometimes it just happens. Like I said, it could be an anomaly of the orchid, just something that went wrong. Um, it could be a genetic issue. We really don't know the exact reasons for why terminal spikes happen, but sometimes they do. And when you have a lot of orchids, you are pretty much going to probably see at least one at some point in your life. They happen. So I hope this video helped answer any questions you had about terminal spikes, helped you understand what they were. 
and why you do want to avoid an orchid that's showing signs of growing one. So I wish you all an absolutely wonderful day. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.